Today we're gonna to show you how to create Teesprings all over Print Tee with our new design template. In this video, we'll cover adding an all over design to the template, and we'll also show you how to customize different elements like sleeves, collars, and the torso too. So to get started, make sure you've downloaded the design template provided in the form. Then open it up in Photoshop or using a free editing software like GIMP. In this video, we'll be using Photoshop. When designing anything on this template, make sure that you're on the layer called Save Place Your Artwork Here. You'll also wanna make sure that you cover all of the design template and all the bleed areas marked in pink. Don't forget if you wanna add a specific background color, just go to the Layers panel and find the layer called Background Color. Double click on the blue box and then you'll be able to choose any background color you like. All right, so let's get started with the easiest design process first. Adding an all over design is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is cover up the entire design area of the template with a photo, pattern, or design. Don't forget that you can customize your design by cutting design elements to better fit within the spaces available. Once you've done this, the next step is to export the design file, which we'll cover at the end of this video. If you want to customize specific parts of your tee, there are several ways to do this. So let's start with the sleeves. The sleeves are positioned at the top of the design template. Each sleeve is one piece of fabric that folds in half. To have different colors for the sleeves, use the rectangle tool and cover the entire sleeve area, including the bleed. You could also use an image or design here instead as long as it covers the same space. To add a logo on the sleeves, all you need to do is place the logo across the middle of each sleeve in this position. If you're using one large design for your all over print tee, you should go back to make sure your sleeve design elements line up with the design placement on the back and front of the shirt. This area of the template is the collar. The collar is made from one piece of fabric that is folded into the inside and outside of the shirt. So here you can see how the part of the collar relates to the mock-up. When adding design elements to the collar, we do not recommend adding logos or text because these elements may get cut or folded out of view when the garment is assembled. If you wanna customize the torso area of your shirt, then what you need to do is place your most important design elements within the safe zone of the template. This is going to ensure that they won't get cropped or folded out of view when the sleeves are sewn onto the shirt. Before exporting your design file, make sure that you've covered the correct areas of the template. You can do this by showing the layer called Delete Design Check. This layer covers up the design layer to show if you have correctly placed your design elements within the template. If everything looks good, then go ahead and delete all of the layers that have the word delete in their name. Next, to export your design file, go to Files and click Save As. Then select the PNG file format. Now that you have your design file, you can head back to the Teespring launcher and launch your all-over print tee. 